Hey bad bitches, so today I'm going to be telling a story time, but first, 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 I'm going to be unboxing the Miss Domesticated subscription box. And no, I'm not going to put my address on the box, so y'all ain't going to find me, alright? Y'all are not going to knock on my door and say hey, even though I appreciate it, but shit, someone could rob me, I just can't do it. I can't get exposed. If you guys did not know, Jenny J. Wow, Jenny Farley, she... I'm over here carrying a knife like what? She has launched a subscription box, a 12 month subscription box, which is so amazing. So congratulations to Jenny. I love Jenny. She's super nice, super humble, such a sweetheart. So I am going to unbox it because I'm really fucking excited. Okay, it's fucking badass. Okay, so for one, look at the packaging. It's so cute, I love it. So I'm going to, going to slice it right open and show you what's in here. So this is what the front is, like pink, black, white, I love it. So the first thing that I see, um, cute as hell, these are leggings, I'm about to open them. Super cute and on it, it's as thick as fuck. And what I like about this is that it's like a thick armband. Is that what's called, armband? I don't fucking know it. It will like make you look really flat and like thick as fuck. And then it has this like cup holder thing and it says thirsty as fuck, which is super cute. You can put your water bottle, your Coca-Cola, anything you want in it, which I love. And we have the JWoww One and Done White Bronzer with Ink Drink Compact. And it is a tanning lotion, dark tanning lotion. And I love Jenny's tanning products. I have like every single one of them and they smell so good for one and I'm obsessed with them. So that is what this one looks like. Then we have a tank top for our leggings and this says roll me in fairy dust and call me a unicorn which is super cute this is really cute i like it and the material is really nice it's really soft you could like sleep on this too i'm not saying do it i would say wear it with the leggings but you can definitely sleep on it because of how soft it is and then we have a really cute keychain which i'm obsessed with the material is really good like you know how some keychains will buy at like walmart or something and the shit will break like really quickly this actually feels like really good really good material Super cute. Y'all want to get burnt, so there's some mineral sunscreen, which is really good because I turn red as hell. And I always forget sunscreen. This is really portable too, so this is really cute. It is sunscreen, and it looks like this. And then you have some hair ties, which are really cute. They're not like the plain ones that you buy like at the store or nothing like that. They're really cute. And it comes in black, pink, gray, and turquoise. Super cute. Super cute. And the last thing that is in the box is the henna and lace tattoos. Um, that is so cute. Honestly, I love this a lot. I love getting hennas. And you can do this at your house, which is really cool. And it has really pretty designs on the back. I think this is my favorite thing in the box because it's super creative. Like most people, they just do different tattoos. But these are henna tattoos. And it shows directions and everything. And I really like this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that was what was in this box. I am super proud of Jenny. She works super hard on everything she does. And at first, I cannot wait to wear these leggings. But this is what's in the Miss Domesticated box. I hope you guys really, really check it out. I'm going to put the link in my description. This is not a sponsor video whatsoever. I'm just really proud of Jenny. And oh, I was just making sure my address was. And I was like, wait, hold up. I love to show her product because she's an amazing person. And this is really cute. This is like different from all the other subscription boxes which I have seen. So definitely check that out. The link will be in my bio, my description below. But now I'm going to continue this video in my story time. So you guys can use my code MORGAN20 and get some percentage off. Okay, so this story time is a motherfucking story time. Let me tell you, okay? Okay, so I'll just like say it like this. When I was in elementary school, everyone had a phone. I mean, everybody motherfucking had a phone. And I didn't have a phone, and I was like, man, like, I really want a phone. And I didn't actually think I was going to get a phone either. But I remember it was my birthday in fifth grade. Fifth grade. I don't remember how old I was. But it was fifth grade, and I woke up to a ringer. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, I don't have an alarm clock. I don't even know if it was, like, a weekend. I don't know. But I woke up, and there was a phone in my room. And my stepdad had called it as, like, to wake me up to, like, show me that he had a phone for me. So, I don't know what kind of phone it was, but it was a phone from Metro PCS, and it was like this red phone, and like you slide it up, and there was a cool keyboard. It wasn't like a Blackberry or nothing like that, but I was obsessed with the phone, for sure. I texted like probably like three people that were my friends. Literally, 
I, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was looking for a game or something. But, no joke. I saw a dating website on the internet. I was looking for games, I swear. I was looking for games. But then I saw this thing, and I thought it was a game site, I swear to God. But I guess it was a dating website, or I don't know, because I don't I don't remember the dating website, nothing. I was so young. But I remember like everything that happened, this and that. I don't have like the sites or anything like that. But so I'm looking and I'm looking and I put my num Ow! Something fucking bit me. Ow. I put my number down and my name and I had like a username and my username was like sweet fang97 it was disgusting but I put my username down and I signed up and all that crap and because I attached my number like mad people kept texting me and like I would delete some but shit a bitch was bored I started responding and I was like okay so I didn't think nothing of it like I'm young like whatever so I was texting back and forth I mean I was probably texting like 10 15 guys like I was like a major hoe like to be honest and I was just talking back and forth and I was dumb as fuck and I would like give out my address and I was so scared that my stepdad or my mom was going to find out so I would always like delete the messages and everything like that but I kid you not there was this one guy and his name was Daniel and I don't remember his like username or anything like that but I was told he was like 14 and I think that was like older from what I was I don't even remember how old I was but he was like 14 I was like okay that's fine and I was just talking to him, talking to him, like talking to him, and I thought I was in fucking love. Like I was like, damn, like we would talk about mad shit, and we'd just be texting. And I would get my phone taken away. Like, <coughs> hey, okay. So, anyways, I thought I was in love with him. Like we talked about mad shit, and I didn't send him like naked pictures or nothing like that. First of all, I didn't think I could send like pictures on my phone, and I wouldn't have anyways. But. I am saying that I definitely did like flirt with him it was all up on him this that and the other but then I started receiving from him naked pictures and I was like what the fuck and I was like uh uh and I don't know why but I wasn't able to send pictures I did not try to send him naked pictures so don't be trying to say I have to try to send him naked pictures but I received the naked pictures so I don't know what the fuck anyways but he sent them to me and I was like ew like that's gross so I like it's not talking to him but when I was younger I didn't know how to block anyone so I didn't block him so I didn't block him whatsoever and then I started talking to another guy and his name was David and he was so sweet oh my little David he said he was 13 I think 12 or 13 I don't fucking know so I'm over here talking to him, this and that. I was like liking him. First of all, it was like puppy love. First of all, ew, ew. I was just talking to him like red. But like things just kept, I mean, I kept getting like blown up with messages. Like my phone was blowing the fuck up. I'm not playing, like seriously blowing up. Like it was insane. And I did not know how to do like anything, like blocking or nothing like that. So I was just freaking out. So I gave one of the guys, David actually, so I gave David my school, like I told him where I went to school because I don't want him to come to my house, I wanted to meet him. See, I'm thinking he's like 12, 13. Anyways, I gave him my school and I literally, kid you not, he said he was like at my school, but when he, where he said he was, okay, there's a neighborhood by my school and it's called Remington. And then, there's, I mean, they're right next to each other. Like, you could walk to school. Like, it's weird. But anyways, he said he was, like, at the stop sign. And, like, when I looked at the stop sign, because I was, like, far away, first of all, he didn't know what I looked like because I couldn't upload pictures, send pictures, nothing. So he had no idea what I looked like. But he definitely knew how old I was. I really wonder how old I was because I really don't remember. I had saw him from far away, and it was, like, an older man. I'm almost positive it was him. If not, then this story time is a fucking lie because I thought it was him. I'm pretty sure it was him. But he said he was at the stop sign in a fucking red shirt. And I was like, okay, he's in a fucking red shirt and he's at the stop sign on his phone too. When I tell you I don't run and I ran the fuck home, first of all, I'm a car rider. So I wasn't even supposed to run home. But I ran home. I kid you fucking not. And that was the last time I ever ran too. But after that, I like I never met him, technically. 
He kept texting me, kept texting me, kept texting me. Now, I don't know to this day if my stepdad knew this already or my mom and dad they knew this already, but the, my stepdad came to my room and was like, oh, I want to look at something on your phone, like the settings or something. And then he had saw them, like kept writing and stuff like that, because there was a bunch of people, not just David, all right? <laughs> Mad people. I remember I got grounded. He took my phone and he took my iPad, not my iPad, my iPod, because we didn't have iPads. It was like a little iPod Nano, it was green, I loved it. Took that shit, okay? And I was so fucking mad. Like, I was so fucking mad. Like, I, oh, I was pissed. I ran away. I kid you not, I ran the fuck away. But I didn't really get far, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I did not get far. But, I ran away. And, I kid you not, first of all, he found me. And I left a note, too. Who the fuck leaves a note when you run away? Bye. No, that bitch was like, I hate you. I never want to see you again. Like, it was some dramatic ass lifetime shit. I'm not fucking kidding. But I left and it was so dramatic. I snuck out the back door. I fought, first of all, I fucking brought my teddy bear with me and I brought like clothes, but like, it was like bullshit clothes. And I just started walking and walking and walking. And then I got lost, so I had no idea where the fuck I was. But I remember I was just walking, I don't know how long, probably like, I don't know, like an hour, an hour and a half. But my stepdad found me like five hours later because I, I was, a bitch was tired. A bitch was big, a bitch did not work out. So a bitch was panting. And first of all, I had no idea where the fuck I was going. But my stepdad found me because he was like driving around. And they had found out I was like, I left, like literally like five minutes later because I was a dumbass and left my door open. My door's always closed when I sleep. So they fucking found out that I left. And um, he had found me like five hours later. And I was pissed about that too. But the cops had to be called. I mean, the cops were called. They had came to the house that I lived at after my dad had got me. And I was talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. I was screaming. I was pissed off. First of all, it's like four in the morning. And my fucking grandparents had to come over too. And my grandpa would have whooped my ass too. Honestly, he should have. But my grandpa, I'm scared of my grandpa, I'm not gonna lie. Because he don't play with that shit. But they were like, oh, why'd you run away? Da 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 da. And they told him all the crap about the guy. And then my stepdad had told him about the guy. And I don't know if they ever found the guy or anything like that. Because honestly, after that day, like, I never talked to the cops again. So. But when I was like texting the guy and stuff like that, like people are disgusting. Like I'm not kidding. Like you know how old I was, and he was like, "Oh, I'm pretty sure that was him at the fucking stop sign." I, like it had to be. Like he was on his phone. He had a red shirt, and he was old. We were nasty as fuck. Like the other people, I don't like talk to them. I don't respond. So, like I wasn't like that much of a help. But all like the other people on that website, which I really thought that shit was a game. Like I was about to play Mario Kart and shit. Like Mario Bros. I really thought that shit was a motherfucking game. But it wasn't <clears throat> at all. It started with a G. I remember that. It was like, fuck, I really wish I knew what it was called. It was like G Zone. I don't fucking know. If any of y'all can remember it, it was like like a long time ago. I'm 19. And it was in like fifth grade. So maybe it was third or fourth grade. I don't fucking know. I just remember I was in elementary school because it was at my elementary school that I saw the guy just stop sign. But I talk so fucking much, I'm like rambling. But if y'all remember the, like, the site, which would be really weird if you do, put it down below because I really want to know. Anyways, like those guys were like wanting to like do stuff. See, I didn't even know what certain stuff they were saying were. And it's just like nasty as fuck. But moral of this story is the bitch, I fucking ran away. Okay. And I didn't get far whatsoever. I failed. Maybe I should title this ran away and failed. I don't fucking know. I definitely did not get a phone for, when did I get a phone? Hold on, I'm trying to think when they let me get a phone again. I was like a really like crazy kid, like, cause my mom like doing drugs and stuff, like we always argue. And I always got my shit taken away anyways, but my first phone was taken away. It was devastating. I thought it was the end of the world. End of the fucking world for real. And the worst part is they made me go to fucking counseling at the fucking school and like talk to them and all this crap. 
and they just kept talking and my stepdad still brings it up to this day like oh sweet thing 97 that are like laughing at it now but when I tell you I was in so much fucking trouble so much fucking trouble all right so that is the end of the story i'm pretty sure it wasn't like interesting but once again like i'm not gonna lie about my story time so i don't have some shit where i actually went in his car and he tried to do stuff and all that crap and i don't you know i don't have nothing to lie about so i don't have anything to say about it but that was my story a bitch tried to run away a bitch didn't get far because a bitch don't exercise a bitch don't like to move but that is my story and i really hope y'all enjoy it Toodaloo, bitches! Also, remember to check out the link in my description for the subscription box and use my code MORGAN20.